Hey everyone, welcome back to my chang changle channel. It's vlog ember 28. We're nearly there. I've only got three more days to do. I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments. So if you've enjoyed the videos up to now and you enjoy this one, consider giving me a big thumbs up. Oh, I like that. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? It's free and you can unsubscribe at any time. And hit the bell for notifications. I just got an offer through on some plates, I think. I'm very excited. You'll see them soon on the video anyway. Let's get into it, guys. Right, guys. I have another mystery box from my lovely friend, Lisa. So thank you, Lisa, so much for doing this for me. I'm really excited to open this. I have no idea what is in here. Um, I have not peeked at it, I promise. The price list is here, which I will look at afterwards. Um, and we'll see what we've got. <sighs> I have no idea what's in the box. <laughs> what is in the box let's have a look right so i am not gonna do the guess the price thing um because i have i am organized i'm not gonna lie to you but we'll go through everything and then we can play a little game i think because i know you all like this we will play a game and you can all guess the price in the comments and let's see how many of you get the prices right so no cheating no cheating i want you to put it in the comments as i bring each thing out what you think lisa paid for each item and at the end i will read out the price list so here we go i have no idea what's in here and i it's quite a big box so i can't really see over the top of it because i'm so sure oh gosh there is a doll i can see two dolls oh look at her she's left the price on right i'll hide the price so this is a our generation doll can you see that guys she looks like she's got her original outfit on which is lovely so guys how much do you think lisa paid for her so put our generation doll number one because i think there's two in there and you tell me how much you think she paid for her now i don't buy these anymore and the reason i don't is because they are really expensive in the charity shops i believe now don't let that sway you with your guess um we'll see we'll see what you think but she's lovely i love her right let me put that list over there okay next <laughs> here's another one. Oh, she's um she's like uh cousin it bless her there we go i've had this one before so i know she has got the correct outfit um yeah the price is on this one as well so we'll hide that from you guys so you can guess how much she is she is another our generation doll so our generation doll two Let's guess what we let's guess what Lisa paid. Her hair. It's beautiful, but it's covering your lovely face. <laughs> let's see. Loving this. Loving this. Oh, okay. We've got a Kath Kids London. So it's Kath Kidson. Little rucksack. Oh, this is cute. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's got cars all over it and motorbikes and rockets it is so cute that i have no idea how much this one has been bought for because there is no label on this one so if you want to play the game write in the comments kath kidson or kath kids rucksack and put what you think lisa paid for this so cool there's another one so Kath Kids Rucksack 1 or Cars and this is Kath Kids Rucksack 2 or Floral. That's beautiful. What a cute little bag. I love these. I think they are adorable. What you would put in them, I don't know, but they are just so sweet. I would be very tempted to use that myself. Let me know what you think it cost in the comments, guys. Oh, there's something wrapped up. It's heavy. 
what is in here it's a perfume bottle look at that that's lovely i like perfume bottles so this is not one of the ones i normally get i normally get like atomizers but this one is one that you put in and then you put the thing onto your wrist don't you the thing out the middle to put the perfume on that's beautiful so perfume bottle guys guess how much it cost in the comments <laughs> right we've got something else here this is in bubble wrap oh it's masks oh i love two like jester masks oh they are beautiful there's a green one and a blue one they're like wall hanging ones so i want you to write masks and how much you think these were in the comments masquerade masquerade masks oh i love them i absolutely love them if i don't sell them you see i'm just going to put them all over the house eventually and have one of those houses that has loads of weird stuff all over it okay this is cool so there is i don't know what this is it says henry on it it's supposed to be something to do with cleaning i am sure um let's have a look there's the tube and here is the hoover oh half of the hoover it's a henry hoover a little henry hoover oh this is really sweet my eldest had this when they were little it's got all the stuff in there it's got like the bit for the bottom the dustpan and brush there's the big brush yeah that's cool so how much did lisa pay for this so henry hoover guys henry hoover and guess how much and then i want you to pause the video that is it that is everything so pause the video write in the comments what you think and we will now go through the price list no cheating you all must pause to write in what you think was spent okay so what's in the box price list the dolls the my generation um, our generation dolls i always call them my generation i don't know why the my generation dolls were two pounds each so let me know who got that right the masks as in the masquerade masks with the bells on that i just showed you they were one pound fifty each or three pound for both if you've guessed that make sure you let me know in the comments who got it right the art deco style perfume bottle was two pound the boys bag oh it's got a bit of a stain on it she said but she said it was two pound fifty for the little boys bag the kath kidson boys bag so who got that right the girls kath kidson bag with the floral pattern on it was 1.95 and the henry hoover was two pound fifty so let me know in the comments what you got right make sure you write a list and let me know what you got right and what you got wrong so it was £15.95 altogether and she's put hope you make lots of profit lovely well Lisa thank you very 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 much for that I really appreciate it you know I love these boxes that you do for me they are amazing I owe you a lunch out <laughs> they are fantastic thank you very very much so yeah i've got some listening to do now guys so i better crack on but yeah i hope you enjoyed that part of the video right my loves i've got some sales to show you so here we have two gorgeous jester mask masquerade masks in plastic and um, with bells on the top and um, these are what lisa got me in my mystery box so big thank you to lisa for those um, these have gone for £13. So after fees and everything, I have made about £9 on those. This Hot Wires um, set, unfortunately, it was missing like the board that you stick it all to. So I had to obviously reflect that in the price. I took an offer on this of £10. So after fees and what I paid and everything, I've made about £5 on this. Not bad, not bad at all. 
I've got this here, which is a shake weight, what I bought at a recent garage sale. This has gone on offer as well for £15, so after fees and everything, I have made about £7 on that. Then we've got this lovely letter holder. This has gone really fast as well and gone on an offer as well. £12 I got for this, so after fees and everything, I have made about 7 on that. This gorgeous little fibre optic church, um, this has gone for 35 so after fees and everything i have made about 27 pound on that i've got some Riker boots here that i've had for about 84 years i'm not even joking and um, these have gone for 15 pound so after fees and everything i've made about eight pound on those i've sold this lovely little army man it's a hm forces figure um desert camouflage character he has gone for 15. so after fees and what i paid and everything i have made about nine pound on him right hang on i've lost where i was these um these are a pair of converse high tops obviously they have stains on them so anyway these have gone on vintage for seven pound so after what i paid because you don't pay fees or postage because postage is already sorted i have made six pound on them and then I've sold, yay, I'm actually in profit with these now, guys, Wrestler. So this is Horns, Hornswoggle Wrestling Figure. He's gone for £16. So if you remember, I sold a load of his mates in a bundle for £16 also. So taking into consideration that I paid £20 for the whole bundle, um, I am about, let me think now, so yeah i was about 11 pound in profit from the bundle and yeah so this was 16. i need to do my maths one second so this sale of this um wrestler means i am literally one pound into profit from all the wrestlers and the figures that i bought i will say though that dexter got a load of superheroes out of it that he has now kept and absolutely loves and i've still got i think five listed individually so when i sell them i will be way into profit so basically i'm a pound into profit now so the next ones will be profit um obviously other than fees and postage so yay let's hope they sell quick here peeps <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna get all these um oh hello i'm gonna get all these packed up now and get them sorted ready to get rid of tomorrow at whatever parcel shop we decide to go to or what people have paid for obviously i know these are going with every because um vinted have pre already predetermined labels that the buyer picks Um, everything else will probably go yodel we'll see hope you enjoyed that guys let me know in the comments what you thought and i will see you tomorrow Mwah. take care be kind stay safe ta-ta